So, my lord, you have recently stated publicly that you suspect President Sarkozy and the United States have conspired to frame Dominique Strauss-Kahn with rape charges to not only remove him from the IMF, but also as the possible next French president. I know Dominique. I know Dominique very well. And, yeah, well, there's, there's a classic example. Well, it was a rarity, actually. He is a good, actually a good man and damned honest. And um, that is not necessarily a good thing to be when you're a politician. He's totally honest about his sexuality. The man's a fucking womanizer. He makes no secret of it. In France, that's quite acceptable. But suddenly in New York, oh, God, heaven. You know, I mean, God, the purest country on earth. Oh, my God. This, so some chambermaid accuses him of, of, of giving him oral sex. I mean, involuntary oral sex, what is that? I mean, God, can you imagine? I'm trying to right now. Hmm. Yes, it sort of, sort of begs uh, quite a few questions, actually. <laughs> hmm. But, I mean, that is obviously a conspiracy going on now. I'm not into conspiracy theories, as you know. Um, but it's quite plain to me what's going on here. By the end of June, all nominations have to be in for the next uh, presidential elections in France. And um, so, Dominique, Dominique is, is a, con a main one of the well, the main contender against Sarkozy. Uh, Marie Le Pen is the only other choice, the, the only likely candidate that stands a chance now. So, if Sarkozy, who has the lowest popularity ratings in French history, um, really should not win that election, but he will because now he's got rid of Dominique. Are you sure? Well, I don't, I, I don't get me wrong, I can't prove a bloody thing, of course, you know, it's like, it's just knowing what I know and who, who I know in, in, in the political whirly-burly cocktail party of uh, and the international politics, I can say without a doubt, that man framed Dominique, that man framed Dominique, there's no question. And the Americans? Well, um, the Americans have a, an interest in getting rid of him as well. Dominic has been very critical of American fiscal policy, and quite, <laughs> quite rightly so as well. I mean, the deficit, like thirteen trillion dollars or something, is quite absurd. Uh, you know, and sort of brings the whole capitalist system into focus as as being sort of un, unrealistic and unattainable. I think. Um, Sarkozy's a bloody megalomaniac. He's short. All, me all megalomaniacs are short. Yes, when you come to think of it. Hmm. Fact. Fact. I think, I really do think, I mean, Sarkozy will win the elections, and I do, really do think he's going to drag bloody France into a bloody grey hole. That's good, isn't no, it? Quite, quite. Yes, I'm right behind you there. But it's, it's, you know, his, his sudden muscle flexing over Libya, you know, suddenly he's going in there, he's like he's trying, now he's trying to, to control the internet, and he's, he's, you know, becoming actively involved in invading Libya, as if he is actually trying to flex his muscle. I mean, why don't the French just sit down and shut the fuck up, you know? They are just fine, it's somewhere for people to go, it's France. It's not really a nation that has any sensibilities that can do good in the world. You know, nobody else speaks fucking French. Be real, Mr. Sarkozy. They don't want to, you know, you're dickheads. It's quite simple. I mean, there's no point in building on that, really, is there? Thank you, my lord.